Good morning. Saturday morning. We have some Dota. This is the second series because the first series had teams I didn't really care about. It is now EG versus Newbie. I'm not sure who I want to win. I feel like whoever wins the series is kind of still a benefit for me because I like EG, but for some reason when I watch Dota, I have that Chinese pride, so I like seeing my people win. Um, maybe I want my people to win, but if EG wins, I still am cool with that because they are pretty entertaining to watch and I like their players. Um, yeah, I think I will be watching this for a large part of the morning. And I was considering maybe going to the San Diego Safari sometime soon. Um, my brother randomly messaged me yesterday talking about how he wanted to go to Africa and see Lion King live. Those were his, those were his exact words to me and I got so confused but I just wanted to see the animals. <laughs> so um, I think that would be a super cool experience. They have a caravan thing here where you just kind of drive around and see some enclosures. Um, it is more expensive, but I don't, price doesn't matter if it's something you want to do. So maybe I'll plan to do it this weekend. It really depends on when the games end because um, the park closes at five and I, you know, I don't really know if I could spontaneously buy a ticket and have space on a caravan. For little old me, um, before it closes, so it really just depends. If teams that I don't care about play later in the day, then it should be fine, but yeah, how exciting. We'll see who wins this matchup. People wondering what that sound is when I mention that my cat shit. This is the litter robot. It automatically rotates and gets rid of their nasty waste into some compartment after 10 minutes and it's pretty much automatic and then that drawer on the bottom is where all of their crap goes um wow hi milo normally i would say that this product would be good if it worked consistently but um, like a month after I bought it, it doesn't rotate automatically. There would be times where I would see a lot of shit in there, uh, which should never happen because it should rotate after every time a cat goes in there. So if it worked well, I would recommend it. It is kind of expensive, like $450. So I personally really dislike scooping cat shit, but um, I recently had an idea to maybe get a woodworker to build something for me. I had an idea where I would have a litter box on the bottom and then I would build a little kind of cat tree structure around it. So after they come out of the litter box, they would have to walk through some ramps and then the act of walking spreads these paws, opens them, and then any remaining litter that is stuck in their paws would filter out as they walked up. Um, and then I was thinking the material on the ramps would also be unique, where it would help to try to filter it out. But um, I just really hate litter tracking around my place. It's all hard, uh, it's not hardwood, but it's hard floors so the second this guy jumps out it gets all over the place and then it tracks everywhere it gets in my bed so I leave my door closed and then they kind of get stuck out here but then I really like having cats in my bed not this one though because he's still a kitten and he literally tries to attack you in the middle of the night but yeah random explanation about my cat shitter. My puppers is super solid. Down. 
Good girl. Sit. Good. Down. Good. Sit. Good. Speak. <laughs> She's like Quasimodo as a dog. Always hunchback. Speak. Good. Ow, you fucking stepped on my foot. Sit. Good. Down. Good. Sit. Good. Break. Good. So, yeah, she really just only knows a few commands because um, I started realizing early on that teaching them rollover and all that stuff is kind of pointless. I mean, it's for entertainment for humans, and I didn't think there was a point to that. So I stuck to obedience commands. So she really just knows, like, shake, speak, um, sit, and down, whereas... I used to teach her play dead, but she was extremely inconsistent on it. And I am the type of person who really wants them to listen on the first command pretty much majority of the time. And as you just saw, she can be pretty good about it. So, um, fuck that guy. <laughs> Milo, he's like my... I don't know what you would call it, but he's like that child of mine where I often make jokes about um, like getting rid of him or like he has really chunky legs. So I would say how if there's an apocalypse, then he would make a fine meal, but it's all jokes. I would never do that to my child. <laughs> okay. Um, the second game is going to start soon, so time to watch more. It's a good sign that I don't get to finish my points. It's a very good sign for PG. That means they're playing aggressively and making moves all the time. I can barely string two sentences together. <laughs> Milo is such an asshole. Is that time, I guess so. That's the T1 tower down, so PG gets that as well. So when I first got Milo, I was actually really concerned about how much work a kitten might be. Um, when I got Rylai and realizing that puppyhood was basically taking care of a baby, I was not really happy during that period of time. It was very tiring um, and I did it all myself so it was stressful. So when I got him I was really concerned it would be a similar experience. However, it was very easy I guess. Um, he came at eight weeks and he was litter trained already, litter box trained. So I was really surprised and amazed at how low maintenance even a kitten was. Like they just know where to go. Um, I guess in the beginning you still have to restrict their access to the house just because they're still small and you don't want to give them free roam that quickly. Um, I also didn't let him up in my bed because I was worried that he couldn't find his way to take his shit and then he would just pee on my face. So I mention this because when I'm doing a comparison, um, cat versus dog from babyhood, I don't know what I prefer because puppies are a lot of work for several months. However, this guy continues to cause problems for me by just being mischievous and high energy and meowing a ton. He's strangely very vocal. Um, he just finds stuff on my kitchen counters, knocks them off and chews the shit out of them. Or he chews the shit out of a wire that's just dangling. Um, I know that it's probably on me to keep these things away from him. However, he's almost one year old. No, he's past one year old and still being very kitten-like. So it sucks. I mean, sometimes, very rarely, it's funny. But then the other times, it can be very annoying. Like just earlier, I was blow drying my hair and the wire was dangling, the cord specifically was dangling, and he was just trying to bite it and bat at it. I also hope this biting 
goes away. I'm guessing he does it because I keep interacting with him when I do it. I'm not... when. My guess is he continues to do it because people keep interacting with him when he does it, so he thinks that it's acceptable. I'm not sure, but yeah, wow. Alright, I just got back from the safari park. I was out for roughly four and a half hours or so total, including driving. Um, it was an awesome experience. Uh, I have never done something like that before, I think, where you pretty much go very close to the animals and even get a chance to interact with them a little bit. Um, <laughs> I have cats coming up to my legs. I don't know if it's the sunblock or not, but they're like licking my legs anyways. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Towards the end, it was getting a little hot and I hadn't eaten since 10.30. So I get this thing where my stomach starts to hurt quite a bit if I'm hungry. So didn't want to hang around. Um, it, I was reaching that max time that I could stay energized for outdoor activities anyway, so I'm really glad to be back. I will probably first thing walk Raleigh. It's nice and like 73 degrees outside. Um, where the safari was, it was like 10 degrees hotter, so it's pretty nice out um, right around here. And then get something to eat. I will probably try to sleep early today because tomorrow is finals for ESL1 and there are some awesome teams playing that some of them are like so I will be rooting for them. There's a Russian team I like, VP. Um, Newbie is the Chinese team that beat EG today and I don't really know who I prefer to be winning. A VP is a very entertaining team to watch but yeah we'll see. I will need to be waking up at 3 a.m. to watch those games so I'll try to sleep as early as possible, but I doubt it will work out that well because you can't just force your body to fall asleep when it's not um, accustomed to falling asleep that early, but I'll just try my best.